Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And this time, man, Owlcat dropped a new patch. I made that 3K video and figured I'd start giving you all Pathfinder content again tomorrow, but they would drop this and I feel like I got to cover it. So let's go ahead and go through it. Really appreciate Owlcat. They definitely seem focused on... Uh, cleaning up a lot of the issues with this game and getting players the kind of content that they need as soon as possible. So before we dig into the things that are fixed, Alcat actually starts the patch notes off with a list of known issues that are not fixed by what they've done. So let's go ahead and go through that. I don't want anybody to get to the event in the video and be disappointed that what they were worried about was not fixed yet. In chapter five, if you skip the scene of getting a mythic level, it may break the game. So make sure you do not do that. Um, retraining your character will break late game mythic paths. So what does that mean? It means that if I take gold dragon, for example, and then I attempt to respec my character, when it gets to mythic level three, where you would usually choose a mythic path, because you're gold dragon, you don't. that's not something you can select at level three, so you cannot select a mythic path, so it just sits there. It doesn't allow you to click anything or press next. And then if you exit out of the menu, you're still stuck at mythic rank level two. So essentially right now, if you choose a late game mythic path, you need to already be in the class that you want to run for that mythic path, which actually means that you have to respect yourself before the last mission in act four, <laughs> which is quite a ways away from that transformation. So yeah, this uh, definitely sucks. Hopefully they'll uh, fix it at some point. Um, sometimes opening a UI that pauses the game, such as a level up screen, may pause the game even after. As a workaround, you can open and close the inventory if it happens. And then finally, characters on a secret mythic path who have already taken mythic ranks in it won't be able to get mythic feats or abilities from previous mythic ranks of that mythic path. So basically, still a bunch of things going on with the uh, late game mythic paths that Alcat has to clear up. Um, so first and foremost, there are several notes regarding the Galfrey romance. Um, and in these patch notes, basically fixing a lot of things about where things happen and if certain scenes appear. I'm actually a little irritated about this because in the playthrough that I just finished, yes, I did finally finish the game, um, I romanced Galfrey and I felt like, honestly, I felt it was a little lackluster and I'm looking through these notes, I'm thinking that I might have missed a bunch of content that was supposed to flesh it out more and would have probably helped me feel better about it overall. So I might end up having to do that again, which is annoying to say the least. But on a happy note, Lich Mythic Path appears to be fixed. So they said that, first of all, the transformation should work properly. The specific verbiage is Mythic Lich was not becoming a true undead creature. Resolution killed him to undeath. And then at the bottom in the miscellaneous section, they mention that they fixed the visual of Mythic Lich. So when I read that, it tells me that both the transformation and the way the Lich's face looks after the transformation should both be fixed. People who have gotten to uh, Act 4 for Lich, if you could go ahead and log into your games and let us know down in the comments, confirm that that is the case, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, they did make a few changes to the uh, Crusade as well. So um, damage of all Rangers traps abilities have been moderately increased. The initial attributes of the generals were fixed. And then the one that I'm most excited for, they've added an indicator for the recruitment button when new units are available for recruitment. I hate it having to check back in the recruitment section over and over and over again to find out whether or not there were more people to finally be recruited. So this is definitely a huge quality of life increase for me. Now, I'm not a person who ever really used bolstered meta magic, but I've seen multiple comments from people who do, 
and who were disappointed that it wasn't working. So it looks like they should be working now. Bolster Meta Magic added two damage per caster level instead of two damage per damage die. This has been fixed. They also mentioned that the Velociraptor Animal Companion's Talons were dealing 1d3 damage instead of 1d6. I seem to remember that this was part of the patch notes for the last fix that they released, but maybe the fix didn't take, and so now it really, really should be fixed. For those of you who were able to find the Triceratops statuette, um, it took away the ability to mount. That has been fixed now, so you can have the statuette and still have the ability to mount. And then the final changes that I really, really am looking forward to seeing are in turn-based mode. So there were two that stood out to me. One, turn-based mode did not work in some places with moving appearing objects. This has been fixed. And then the, <laughs> the one that I'm sure a lot of you are going to be pleased with. Charge ability was getting interrupted randomly before starting. This supposedly has been fixed. Um, so those are the things that stood out to me. I will definitely leave a link down below so you can go through all the different patch notes and see everything that has been fixed. There are a lot of things regarding quest and specific spells and abilities that have been fixed that I have not even touched upon. So it's definitely worth reading through it in case what you specifically are looking for is in there. But again, I think Alcat is doing a fantastic job of trying to patch this game up. I think there is still something to be said that the game was released with a lot of these bugs in it, but it's definitely clear that they care about the community and want to make sure all these issues are cleared up ASAP. So I appreciate the work. So let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Are the bugs that you were really worried about fixed or are there still some things broken with the game that you're disappointed are not fixed yet that you want Outcat to work on as soon as possible. Let me know and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, share this content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.